Hi, it's um, as Eve, mother of the earth, as Mary, wife of Jesus Christ, as E. Michelle Birdsong, daughter of the high and mighty son who won, I hope the people in the world will listen to, pay attention to what I present and do as I suggest. Stop 5G, repeal act of 1871, End abortion and contraception and pornography and adultery. End homosexuality, usury, income taxes, lobbyists, mainstream media, schools as indoctrination centers, eating meat, fish, and eggs, and anything containing their essence. Stop communism, socialism, Rothschild's banking dynasty, the power of Attila, Genghis Khan, George Soros. The Vatican, the Crown, Rothschilds, dual citizenships, Hollywood Satanists, pedophiles, human sex trafficking, Agenda 21, the United Nations, European Union, and traitors of the United States, Jewish Revolu in the Jewish revolutionary spirit, black unofficial reparations, favoritism, the Federal Reserve, IRS, Global warming hoax, chem chemtrails, blocking the sun, seeding the clouds, putting lithium in the sky, stop. What is that? Uh, geophysicists, so stop CERN in Switzerland, stop unmerited immigration into the America, the UK, and Europe, stop the traitors serving in governments in the West, end of government as we know it, bring on the holy royal family, merit, rule, the family of kindred spirits of saints and geniuses, the end of corruption, corrupt politicians, antichrist people and symbols, end of satanic Luciferian rites and rituals and practices and followers, end of spirit cooking, end of cannibalism, Democratic Socialism, Communist Parties, End of Fluoride in the Water, End of Unnecessary Vaccinations, End of Unnecessary Drugs, including Cannibalists, Cannibalists, Cannibal, Pot, Dope, Weed, and Alcohol, End of Lying, Shying Away from Controversial, things, end of negative manipulation, end of male masturbation, the end of violence. Okay, let's get here, let's see. My shit don't stink. Saints shit don't stink. They don't need dead flesh. Flesh. Foul will energy shit. The energy he wills is foul shit. One who eats flesh. Feces. The essence of what one eats accumulates at the roots of trees as it moves in the soil, as the feces move in the soil, the tree roots stops it. And feces cling to the tree's roots and in the vicinity. Roots, her order, open mind to talk and share. Okay, that's one thing. And in the vicinity, vicinity decoded, vice, V I C F, vice, I sex, which is pleasure, intersex, I sex, advice, pleasure to enter, pleasure, true. Uh, true tie. True A E I O U. I W L I O U. I wo O W E. I wo I O U. I O U. Okay. A E I O U. Adam, Eve, I sex pleasure order you. Adam and Eve's pleasure. It is to order you.
the vowels. Slow love. S L O V E. Love. Vowels. We slow love. Yeah, it's good to make love slowly to, to for the guy to caress every part of her body, not entering the butthole, but caressing her body. The Jesus Christ did that 11 hours straight twice he made love to me that way on the astral plane and it was heavenly I was so utterly pleasured and relaxed I never felt that way in my life I never thought I could sit still for even an hour let alone 11 hours you don't know what it's like to be relaxed like that it's, it's heavenly vowels Eve oh we loves Vowels. Eve. Eve. Eve lose well. W. That's a W. Eve well. The W of Eve is uh, Adam, isn't it? I think so. He's well. Okay, good. Where we at? We did that. Good is the absence of stink. Stink is a foul odor. Foul odor is feces. D O O R, door ordered. Feces, door ordered. You ate animal. That's why you have a foul odor. That's why you stink. Evil, vile, vile. Vile means, okay, evil means morally bad, wicked. And vile is what evil is. And vile is extremely unpleasant shit. Feces. Feces decoded. Foul energy. See energy sources. Animals you ate. Okay. Unpleasant. Synonyms for vile. Wicked, morally bad and wicked. Foul. Nasty. Shit is nasty. Unpleasant. Bad disagreeable, horrid, horrible, dreadful, abominable. Let's decode abominable. A body mirrored in a butt fucker willing energy. Butt fucker willing energy means fucking a butt. Okay, that's what abominable is, fucking a butt atrocious at her order see I pl see pleasure owed us at her order see pleasure owed us owed wedding Adam and Eve is us I have some deja vu here more synonyms for vile shit Vacant pleasure will. There's no pleasure in the vile energy. Shit. See heaven smelling this. Shit. Offensive, obnoxious, odious, unsavory, repulsive, off putting, repellent. Revolting, repugnant. This is all shit. This is all butt fucking. Disgusting, distasteful, loathsome, hateful, full of hate, nauseating, make you want to vomit, sickening, base. When people think of homosexuality, they don't think about that dick going in that butthole and how that must smell as they pull it out and put it in the mouth and the person eats the shit. They don't think about all of that, you know. They don't think about anything. They think about the um, uh, rainbow flags they have associated with homosexuality and calling them divas, opera singers, and calling them queens. You see, they have associated the best in the culture to them. So you don't think about the reality of them fucking shitholes. See, that's why I'm telling you. All right. So uh, low, mean... Did I do this line? Disgusting, low, mean, distasteful, wretched, loathsome, disgraceful, 
hateful, appalling, shocked, ugly, vulgar. You know it's true for shit and for homosexuality, which is loving shit, fucking shitholes. Sorry, shabby, shameful, dishonorable, excretable. You excrete shit. Heinous, abhorrent, deplorable, monstrous, wicked, evil, dark, dirty, vicious, iniquitous, sinful. Adam, the sin, original sin. Adam fucked Eve in her ass. The good of the anus is an exit for shit. The evil of the anus is when you enter the exit. Pandora's box, open the door to shithole. You let all these unpleasant sensations exist. Co deplorable, corrupt, sordid, depraved, perverted. This is what butt fucking is. Debased, reprobate, degenerate, Ellis degenerate, debauch, debauchery, dissolute, contemptible, despicable, reprehensible, diabolical, diabolic, devilish, fiendish, hellish, damnable, informal, yucky, sick making, gut churning, icky, gross, god awful, low down, rotten, sick. Okay, now that's a lot of truth I gave you in that part of it. What else we got? Informal. See, they brought all this nastiness into our culture, just butt-fucking. You see, accumulated all these definitions, all these descriptions. Informal. I wonder if happy has that many de descriptions. Informal. Beastly. Informal. Bogging. Informal. Lousy. Vomitous. Make you want to vomit. Vulgar, slang, shitty. See? Literary, noisome, archaic, scurvy, disgustful, loathly, rare, egregious, flagitious, a vile smell, shit. Archaic, of little worth or value. But fuckers make no new life. They make, they produce nothing of value to the world. World. W. Order. Her will. Divine. Victory. Pleasure. Enter Eve and receive ecstasy. You enter Eve, you enter Eve's vagina and receive ecstasy. Total involvement, the orgasm. It's total involvement. You're, you're not floating. You're not daydreaming. You're involved in that orgasm, that ecstasy. Love. Enter Eve and receive love. What is love? Will, order, voluminous energy. Okay, that ecstasy, that orgasm is voluminous energy. Huge energy that causes you to be totally involved. Your mind does not drift when you're having an orgasm in Eve. Climax, the most intense, exciting, or important point of something. The important point of sexual relations is for him to love, get involved with all of her body except the forbidden whole, where decent lovers do not go. It stinks. Saints think. Satan stinks. The penis that enters the shithole is a scrounge of the earth, scrudge. How do you say that word? Scrunge, scrudge, scrudge of the earth, scrounge of the earth. Such as penis is an instrument of punishment, of criticism or criticism, 
Scrooge means to, I know I'm not saying it correctly, but you, you know the correct pronunciation. You had phonics in your school, unlike me. I went to the colored school, they took phonics out. Scrooge means to cause suffering. It comes from an old French word meaning to whip. But, that's a but. See that but sitting there? But hip. What is the scrouge of God? If a God is a man, a man, a man is a God. Jesus said to some men, yeah, God's sod, Sodom and Gomorrah. Smell, odor, smell, odor. Sodom, smell, odor, sodomy, smell, odor. Okay, what is the scrolls of God? A bronze medal in the Louvre Museum. Let's decode Louvre. Love over, O-V-R-E-R, -E love over, Louvre. Museum, muse, use, Eve, you mirror. I'm a mirror? No. No, I'm a mirror, no wonder wherever I go, a confrontation occurs, wherever. W, there's a W here, Eve, R for her, W here, Eve, I'm your double and I am here. So it's pointing to me, Eve, her. I am Eve, I am her, I am your double, Eve. Okay. So this, uh, this bronze medal in the Louvre Museum depicts Attila, Pelagium, Del, probably not the way I pronounce it, but I'm pronouncing the way it's spelled, meaning Attila, Scrooge of Gods. By the time Attila died, the non-Christian, Attila was George Soros. The non-Christian Attila had become known as the scrouge, the punishment of God. George Soros is the punishment of God because we do not think. If we start to think for ourselves, we'll kick George Soros out of power and give his $32 billion to the Holy Royal Family to distribute righteously and punishment of God and his death was cheered in what was left of the Roman Empire. Nero is Stevie Wonder. What is a scrouge in the Bible? A scrouge is a whip or lash, especially a multi-thong type used to inflict severe corporal punishment or self-mortification. It is usually made of leather, S&M, sadomasochism, punishment, and person playing God, the punisher. Okay, so somebody feeling so guilty, they want to be punished, and somebody feeling so uh, so uh, angry, they want to punish. Okay, that's what sadomasochism is. Attila the Hun was one of the most successful barbarian rulers of the Hunnic Empire, attacking the Eastern and Western Roman Empire. George Soros is a successful barbaric attacker of the good people in America and in other countries. Attila was born in Hungary. So was George Soros. Soros, born in Hungary. Attila was a 5th century king. He inspired fear throughout the late Roman Empire. He killed his own brother, for more power. Wrath. Is that wrath? Yeah, wrath of Attila the Hun. Attila was notorious for his, we remember we're talking about George Soros, for his fierce gaze. According uh, to historian Edward Gibbon, Attila frequently rolled his eyes as if to enjoy the terror he inspired. He also, re that's a sadist, a satanist. He also reputedly scared others by claiming, 
claimed Ming Dynasty. Eve was a part of the Ming Dynasty. She was married to Jay Chen. Okay, so he also reputedly scared others by claiming to own the actual sword. Words of Eve, Mars ruled Ares. Okay, W-O-R-D-S, sword, words. Okay, that's where I got that from. To own the actual sword of Mars, the Roman god of war. Among many memorable quotes, Attila the Hun is remembered. Mile Red remembers him for saying of his powerful reign, There where I have passed, the grass will never grow again. He was a sadist, a satanist. One who inflicts pain because he can, just because he can, not in self-defense, but just because he can. He lacks a satanist, a sadist lacks human trait of empathy. He, he cannot feel, he cannot put himself in others' place and feel what they feel. Attila the Hun invaded northern India, Italy in 452 but spared the city of Rome due to the diplomacy of Pope Leo I and the rough shape of his own troops. Legend has it that St. Peter, retired Lieutenant General John Hopper, Eve's cousin, and St. Paul, Dr. Mike Murdoch, Deborah Murdoch's brother, appeared to Attila. George Soros, Jewish, George Schwartz was his name before he changed it, threatening. So legend has it that St. Peter and St. Paul appeared before Attila, threatening to strike him dead if he did not settle with Pope Leo I. Attila died the following year in 453 before he could try once again to take Italy. Attila left behind a divided family. His sons fought over control of their father's empire. Okay, so that's all. That's George Soros. All right, I want to tell you about that. I will come back to you when I have more information to share with you. Knowledge is power, and I'm giving you knowledge so you can have power. So long.